What is coal ash? Coal ash is a byproduct produced from burnt coal, usually coming from coal fired power plants. It often contains dangerous heavy metals like mercury and arsenic, which can pollute nearby lands, waterways, groundwater, and air. The effects of long term exposure to coal ash can include nervous system damage and cancer, as well as other health problems like heart damage, lung disease, birth defects, and much more. Currently in Georgia, there are 11 coal fired power plants owned and operated by Georgia Power along with 29 coal ash ponds that store millions of tons of coal ash. Many of these ponds are unlined and therefore at risk of contaminating the land, water, and air around it. Georgia Power plans on excavating 19 of 29 ponds, but will leave 10 ponds of coal ash waste behind, including the majority of their coal ash in these ponds. Instead of taking the responsible route to excavate and clean the area, they're choosing to cap the ponds in place, putting a flimsy seal on their toxic waste that will continue to poison the area for years to come. Normally, this would draw increased scrutiny and eventually legislative action from our government officials. However, as the anecdote of Julia Georgia tells us, it's our very own government that's allowing this to happen. Georgian legislators have continued to support Georgia Power and have moved to limit the amount of regulations that would help keep Georgia Power responsible for their toxic waste. Sure, there have been some legislation passed to combat coal ash, like Senate Bill 123, which raises fees on dumping coal ash, but others, like House Bill 929, which requires long-term monitoring of water near coal ash ponds, and Senate Bill 384, which would have protected our waters from coal ash or waste, were ignored and effectively tabled for the year. This is unacceptable. The very legislators that we elected to serve and protect the interests of the people are choosing to prioritize corporate profits over the health of residents. It's time we hold these legislators responsible for their failure to act and bring a change this November that will focus on protecting people, not profits.